good time, folks? Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Let's see how you're doing with this appointment then. So my name's Jack. I'm going to do a few tricks. Uh, I need somebody to come over here who... I mean, there might be a few people who've been picked on already. Who hasn't been picked on? Picked from the back. Picked from the back. Just, just somebody from the back want to come forward. Any other young gentlemen? What's your name, mate? Macaulay. Come on in, Macaulay. Give him a big round of applause. Can you, can you sit on it? Is that right, Macaulay? Good man. Now, Macaulay, we're going to do a card trick, all right? I have to tell you what, should we shuffle the chair a little bit this way? That way, oh, you drop some money. That's this direction. That right, here we go. The first trick. Now, when you see somebody who can do this with a pack of cards, you know one thing about them, Macaulay. They've got no social life whatsoever. That's me, Macaulay. Now, Macaulay, what I'm going to get you to do is write your name on a card for me, all right? So I'm going to go through the pack. Uh, go ahead and write your name. On that card for me, as big as you can, Macaulay. Uh, and if you've got an account number and a sort code, just stick that on as well. <laughs> While Macaulay does this, sir, can you say stop on the four of hearts? Stop. You're better than me, that's annoying. <laughs> Good man, I'll take the card back, I'll take the pen back, thank you very much. So, Macaulay, you've written your name on one card, alright? Now, the reason Macaulay has written his name on that card is so you know there's no other eight of diamonds with his name on, okay? So if I put Macaulay's card with his name on, in the middle of the pack, there's no way, Macaulay, that your card can jump to the top yet, because it can't be in two places at once. Wow. Now settle down, I'll do it again. Here we go, the first card, what's that? Go somewhere into the middle of the pack like this. If that card goes in the middle of the pack, it can't be on the bottom. It can't be there, it can't be there. It definitely can't be there. It definitely can't be there. I'm going to keep doing it until Macaulay looks like he's enjoying himself. <laughs> and what's your name? Molly, go ahead, Molly, just take out a card for me. Just go ahead and take it out and show everybody what you've got. Give it up for Molly, come on. How are you doing this? The call it's your turn, go ahead and take out a card for me. Say what you want, go ahead and show everybody what you've got. <laughs> Even out of the hard work. Now it goes fast, it happens fast with Macaulay, so what I'm going to do, I'll go slow, super slow. You can see on the end of that card, yeah? Do me a favour, Macaulay, just push that card in for me. And let me know when you see that card. Right? Just let me know when you see that card. Just let me know when you see that card. We're not sure yet. <laughs> I feel like a bad person. I don't know how to take that long, Macaulay, but it's all right. Now, this, this card has caused us nothing but problems, all right? So I'm going to get rid of your card. Watch very close, Macaulay. I'm going to put your card inside my pocket over here, okay? Because some people think there's more than one card with your name on. Now, if there was, they look something like this. Don't blink. Of course, it's just an illusion, Macaulay. Please hold your applause. It's fine. This car, it's not even here. These are the four aces, you see. That's one, two, three, four aces. And these are the four aces, Macaulay. Guess what's in my pocket? No, oh, sorry. The car's already the four aces in my pocket. You didn't get it, right? You don't like me anymore, Macaulay. Thank you very much. Soon in, see, inside my pocket, I keep my wallet. Like that. Inside my wallet, I have, you see that white bit of paper there? It's an envelope. You know where this is going, don't you? No way. It's sealed with a little red sticker over there. I'm going to open the envelope just like this. You see how there's one card inside there, Macaulay? I'm going to go ahead, take it out, and in your best Debbie McGee impression, show everybody what it is. Go ahead, have a seat. Give it up for Macaulay, everybody. So, who else hasn't been up? I'll tell you what. Can you come up? Is that alright? You've been up before, haven't you? Yeah, I'm just confused. Well, that's good. That's good. I'm doing my job right then. What's your name, sorry? Laura. Laura, nice to meet you. Laura, have a seat if you want. Now, we're going to do a trick with my magic sack. I can't do mine. Okay. We found a human level, obviously. Inside my magic sack, we've got the world's most popular toy. We've got two of them. You can tell everybody what they are. Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube, I'll show you two Rubik's Cubes. Nice and soft. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix up one of the Rubik's Cubes. Now you know the idea behind the Rubik's Cube. You've got to mix one up and you try and solve it so all the colours are, are the same on all sides. Uh, can you see that it's mixed up on all six sides? Yeah. So I'm going to put that inside the stack. Now we've got one mixed up and one solved. The question is do you want to use the mixed up one or the solved one? The solved one. So take the solved one out. Uh, and I'm going to keep the mixed one in there. Can you hold out your right hand for me? Keep hold of that, perfect. Now, pick somebody in the crowd, anybody. They always pick on a friend. <laughs> What's your name? 
Julie, nice to meet you, Julie. I'm going to turn the cube behind my back. Whenever you want, just tell me when to stop. Okay, look at that colour. You got it, Julie? Yeah. Don't tell me what it is, but remember what that colour is, alright? I don't want to know what it is, okay? Now, imagine this. If I mixed up that cube on all six sides, and I solved it on one side, the side that you were thinking of, that colour. That would be a pretty good trick, wouldn't it? Yeah? Uh, but even better is if I solved the cube on one side, but it was the one that you were holding this whole time, that would be even better. So what was the colour you were thinking of? So if I solved the white side of that cube, that would be pretty good trick, wouldn't it? Yeah. Before you even pick the colour white, go ahead, give it a little shake. That'll do. Put your hand in. We're after white. Let's have a look. On one side. Or all six, that's a better trick, isn't it? <laughs> I'll show you this one, it's definitely mixed up in all six sides. Hold out your left hand for this time, and you're going to hold the top of the sack again, alright? So hold, hold the top, and this time give it a little shake, put the opposite way. That's it. That's all it takes. Go ahead, you've solved the cube. Let's see how you did. Give her a big round of applause. Now, uh, now some people think, some people think that you know, these are sort of trick cubes that you sort of mix up, you give them a little shake and it solves itself, but that's not how it works, alright? Now, I want you to mix that up as much as you want. And we're going to pass it round, alright? See, I've got another one inside here, and I'm not going to touch this until the end of this little trick. So, this little mixed up cube, I'm going to put round over here, okay, like that. And I'm going to put this on top, and I'm not going to touch it until the end of the trick. Okay, perfect. And now there's 42 quintillion different ways of mixing up a Rubik's Cube. There's 42 billion trillion different patterns. 42 billion trillion different ways of disappointing your girlfriend. That's a different story. Uh, and we're going to try and get one side of that cube to match one side of this cube, okay? So they're going to pass it along, and whenever you say stop, that's when they'll stop mixing, okay? Stop. Alright, we said stop, we've said stop. So I'll take it back, I'll take it back. Thank you very much. Cheers. Now there's no way I can influence how people have mixed this up. So with all these different ways of mixing it up, I'm telling you that one side of this matches one side of that. Okay? Can you put it behind your back? <coughs> and you mix it up, and whenever you want, you stop, all right? Happy? Yeah. Okay, keep it behind your back, all right? We're here on the 5th of April in the Stan Laurel Museum. I'm telling you, one side of that cube matches one side of this cube. Do you want to twist it one more time? Okay. <laughs> what about one more time? Okay, I'm done. You done? Yeah. Happy with that? Yeah. There's no way I can tell how you did that, okay? I'm telling you one side of this match is one side of that. I'll take it back. We're after one side to match. Let's have a look. Sides. We know where this is going, that's five sides, that's all six sides, a perfect match. Give it up for this guy. Thanks, Laura, you've been looking great, Jesus. Take one. Back to how we start. Cheers. Now, the last trick, the last trick. I trust you with my phone, Molly. Can I trust you with that? Make sure I don't touch it until the end of the trick. Now, stand up, Molly, and point to anybody in the crowd. You, sir. What, what's your name, sir? Norman. Norman. Nice to meet you, Norman. Now, Norman, imagine that we've got a pack of cards. Sit down, Molly, you've done a great job. Imagine if we've got a pack of cards. And put that pack of cards in your pocket, all right? Now, the cards have been shuffled, all right? Just, just imagine it, don't worry. <laughs> now, uh, I'm going to put my hand in your pocket. I'm going to have a good feeling around, Norman. And I'm going to take out either the black cards or the red cards. What do I take out? Blacks or red? I take out the blacks, okay. So we've got the red cards left. Uh, so what's your name? Mark. Mark, I have all the red cards. You're going to have to around. You're going to take out the hearts or the diamonds. What do you want to take out? Hearts. And do you want to use them or eliminate them? Eliminate. Eliminate them so we use the diamonds. Uh, uh, pick somebody else in the crowd. Any person. Anybody, yeah. Yeah. So what's your name? Cole. What's your name? It's Cole. Cole, nice to meet you, Cole. Uh, Cole, out of all the diamonds, was it? Do you want picture cards or number cards? Picture cards. Out of all the picture cards, pick somebody else. We'll pick somebody else. I have all the picture cards, what do we want? Sir, so what's your name? Chris. Chris, I have all the picture cards, Jack, Queen or King, what do you want? Queen. Are you sure you can change your mind if you want? Yeah. Okay, you're happy with the Queen of Diamonds. Imagine if we took that Queen of Diamonds, we folded it up in half, folded it in quarters, and put it in Cole's right pants pocket. Yeah. That'd be one hell of a trick. Go ahead, Cole, have a look, have a look. I'm only joking, I'm not like that. <laughs> 
Well, to finish off, Molly, you've had the phone this whole time. I'll take the phone back. I haven't touched it until now. Is that fair? If I unlock the phone, watch this. Can everybody see the phone? If I tap on the screen, the card appears. If I take that card, pull it out the phone. <laughs> now, where it gets crazy is we could have said any card. We eliminated the blacks, which left us with reds. We eliminated the hearts, which left us with diamonds. We chose picture cards and the queen of diamonds. We could have arrived on any card. But tonight, ladies and gentlemen, how did you know the card inside the phone was the queen of diamonds? Guys, really great audience. Have a good night. Cheers. Thank you. Well done.